I'm Jim O'Neill. Um, I spent a large part of my adult life in professional finance and economics. And when I left Goldman Sachs in 2013, I consciously wanted to not do something very similar to what I've been doing. And I was approached uh, within a year to lead a review into antimicrobial resistance. We highlighted that by 2050, you could have 10 million people a year dying and the accumulated loss of global GDP could be as much as $100 trillion over 35 years. So pretty colossal sums. And then from that, we thought, well, what can we now suggest to try and stop that happening? How can you permanently reduce the demand for unnecessary antibiotics? You want to reduce the inappropriate demand. And at the same time, because of the complications of the financial model for the world of business, you want to somehow find a way of solving what economists and finance people would call the market failure, where business doesn't want to produce uh, more antibiotics or vaccines that are relevant or alternative treatments. We had assumed that there were 700,000 people around the world dying from AMR as being a major cause. Very interestingly, earlier this year, something that's become known as the Gram study, which was based on five years of massively intensive data analysis. They now suggest in 2019, it was nearly 1.3 million. So something like 70% bigger than we'd assumed. If that's the way it's going to carry on going forward, it's going to be way more than 10 million in 2050. The knowledge about how you solve this is huge. And I sometimes jokingly think, well, why am I wasting my time on this? Because everybody knows what needs to happen. And what I find is it, it's, it's essentially the same as the issues in many other big challenges. It's, it's all about risk reward. I think we really do need um, some more people of the leadership uh, flavour of what we had, let's say, a decade ago, ago in the global space, where whatever your politics and your philosophy, We've all got to cooperate together, irrelevant of what we stand for. And we need that and a shift in the risk reward from the pressure on governments and certainly a risk reward shift by the pharmaceutical industry because that could happen now. What we need is people that are prepared to make big decisions, probably from the outside coming in to influence it. And I think you need more and more people helping push the existing players to get out of their comfort zone.